This is Brian from Brain District. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the shell tool. The shell tool is an easy way to apply thickness to an object. I'm going to start out with a primitive object. So if I click on the Objects button in the browser menu, I can take and double click on the cube heading to create a cube in my viewport. Once my cube's been created, I'm going to move over to the left hand side of the screen and make my cube editable. This opens up more tools for me to take and manipulate our object with. I'm going to move to edit faces mode by clicking on this button. And I'll click on the face that faces us in the viewport and I'll choose delete face. I'll zoom in a little in the viewport and I'll take and apply the shell tool. I'll take and adjust the amount to a positive value and then click accept. Now you can see thickness has been added to the walls of this cube in a very quick and efficient manner. Next we'll create a new object. I'll choose objects from the browser menu and I'll double click on the sphere primitive. Next we'll select from the view selector menu and we'll jump to the object editor. The object editor gives us advanced control over the parameters of our primitives. Now in the object editor we can see the parameters of the sphere shown in the object graph. We want to click on the shape node. When we've chosen the shape node in the object graph, we can see the parameters of the sphere shown over to the right in the nodes tab. I'm going to take and adjust the top cap value. This creates a hemisphere. I'll also uncheck top cap. Now you'll see that our sphere is hollow. This is the extent of the changes we wanted to make here in the object editor, so I'll take and choose scene view from the view selector menu. Now back in scene view, I'm going to take and make my sphere object editable by clicking on the make editable icon. When we make a primitive editable, it is transformed into a mesh object. The shape parameters we manipulated in the object editor will become inaccessible in exchange for the new operations. Once I've done this, I have more operations available and you'll once again see the shell tool available here. I'm going to click on perform shell and I'll adjust the amount that I'm looking for. I'll use a negative amount this time and I'll choose accept. Now we have a hollow sphere with walls that have thickness. So far, we have used the shell tool on simple objects, but as you can see, we can apply the shell tool to all kinds of objects. Cat toys, mansions, even vehicles. That's it for the shell tool. We hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial.